Hello guys and welcome to your ninth Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be going over do while loops. Now we've already met uh, with two basic types of loops and those are for loops and while loops. Now obviously the do while loop connects more to the while loop except there's one um, different thing about this loop and that is um, that it has to execute at least once in every case even if the condition we give it is false. Now you guys are probably wondering how we implement this in code and that's a good question it's what we'll be going over in this tutorial. Uh, so anyways let's start typing and let's create a variable x. Uh, say int x uh, let's set it equal to 0. Preset it to 0. Uh, and let's make a standard while loop here we're gonna say if while x is less than or equal to 10 uh, we are simply going to print out the value of x and we are also going to increment x by 1 so the loop doesn't go on forever. So what do you guys notice about this with uh, this loop? Well first of all the condition is always given first so it, it has a condition that must be satisfied for this to code to execute even once. So say if this x was a hundred or a thousand, sure, whatever, uh, then a thousand is not less than or equal to ten, so it would just skip this code and not print anything at all. Now there are times in programming where we need to get some feedback from our program, so we don't just want it to be blank, we just need it to output something just so we know what's what's going wrong or you know where where there's an error or just it just there just needs to be some uh, feedback and this is one we usually want to uh, use a do while loop because it's going to execute at least once so it's going to spit something out on the screen or it's going to it's going to do some kind of a process so in that case we need uh to do this and please let me uh type this code i will explain it just as soon as i'm done typing we are pretty much going to do the same thing that we did in the first loop except we're gonna recreate it as a do while loop uh, alright failing at typing but there we go so as you notice our like body body text is completely the same in both cases all that is switched is what goes first the body text or the condition so as you can see in this first part the condition goes first and then goes the body text. Here we must execute the body text first and then check for the condition only after we've already executed it once. Uh, and as you can see here uh, the the main body block goes in between uh, the curly braces that follow the do statement and the while statement goes after this curly brace uh, with the condition inside it and don't forget the semicolon you need that there. Uh, so Anyways, how these are going to differ, if x was equal to a thousand, well, this while statement would say x is not less than or equal to a thousand, uh, is not, sorry, x is not less than or equal to ten, uh, so a thousand is not le less than or equal to ten, so I'm just going to skip that statement and go right on. But the do while loop would say, hey, I need to do whatever this person told me to do first in the, in the main block of code. So it's just going to print out a thousand and increase it to a thousand one, and then check for the condition. Well, since a thousand one clearly is not less than or equal to ten, uh, it's just going to stop there and continue on with the program. But the difference is that we'll actually get some feedback from uh, our code. Uh, so, anyways, let's make this slightly more interesting, and I, I want to see if you guys can figure out what's going on here. I'm going to set int equal int x equal to 1 and I am just gonna run this program and I want you guys to pause this video right now and predict what the output is gonna be it's gonna go from 1 to what number I'm just 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 predict it just predict that alright you guys back alright so let's find out what goes on here so we run this program hit OK it prints from 1 to 11 Okay, this might seem conf slightly confusing at first, uh, but what really what's what's going on here can be explained uh, completely with our code. So these first ten numbers are simply a result of the first loop for the first while loop. So what what does it do? Well, it gets x equal to one, it prints out one, increases it to two, prints out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and as soon as it, it bumps it up to eleven. 
it says, well, 11 is not less than or equal to 10, so I'm moving on. Now, the value of x at this point in the compiler is already 11. So when it executes this do statement, it prints out 11, increases it to 12, and then it says, well, is 12 less than or equal to 10? No. So I'm going to uh, simply continue on with the program, and it terminates. So that's why we get this strange 11 output here, because... The do, the do while statement has to execute this code at least once, and it just prints out 11 without thinking, but then here, uh, the condition fails, so it goes on. Uh, so that's really uh, the breakdown of why we're getting 1 through 11 on this piece of code here, and hopefully that kind of demonstrated what a do while loop does, and you guys will know how to use it uh, in your programs where you need to apply it. Uh, so I just kind of gave you guys the complete set on loops. Um, that's that's pretty much all you'll ever need uh, so anyways guys thanks for watching this uh, very quick tutorial uh, please comment rate and subscribe and like this video if you found this stuff useful thanks peace